Hello once again folks and you're very welcome along to another video from Gundog and Fly Ta Falter Oibarisht And today I'm going to be doing just a little bit of gentle training with my Red Setter Pup Rua And when I say gentle, it has to be gentle at her tender age No pressure should be applied on a pup um, Maybe later on when they're a bit um, get into adulthood and maybe when they're misbehaving you can apply a bit of pressure But when they're very young, it's important that all training be very gentle and enjoyable for the pup And they're being trained if you like without them without their knowledge. They don't even know what's going on So today I'm planning to do a couple of things. I'm planning to introduce Rua to game Up to now all I've been doing with Rua is allowing her to run around basically in the field Just let her run around do her own thing and then I've been recalling that's all I've been doing and now I think I have fairly firmly established the recall. She recalls virtually every time I call her so that's very important. Um, I'm going to be introducing her to game today hopefully. I was in the field the other day with one of my older dogs and I came across some snipe and I'm hoping that those snipe are going to be there again today and I'm going to allow Rua to run that field and hopefully find them and see how she reacts and responds to them. So it'll be our first time ever meeting game assuming of course that these snipe are in the field but I'm fairly confident that they will be. And the other thing I'll be doing and again very gently is I'm going to be making a start on introducing um, a quartering pattern i.e working left to right into the wind so when the dog goes right I'm going to recall and then walk in the direction opposite which should in theory send her in the direction opposite and thereby establish a quartering pattern over time now a lot of dogs will naturally quarter particularly setters and pointers they will naturally quarter but it does no harm to help them along the way so that's what I'd be doing today folks and I hope you'll stay with me and that you'll enjoy the film Here we are folks, this is Rua, and Rua is bred from some of the very best hunting red setters in Ireland, and hopefully she'll take after her ancestors. So she's full of beans, mad to get going, so I'm going to slip her in the field here now and we'll see how she responds to hopefully meeting the snipe. Now hopefully the snipe are here today, sometimes they let you down. But uh, I'm confident that there will be some around. Good girl. Come on. Now she's going out to my right. So what I'm going to do is move to the left and once you go to my left I'm going to move to the right keeping my hand extended now she goes again right good girl come on Now, as you can see, Rua's recall is very good, and that's a big plus. I've been working on that. That's a big plus, so to try and establish um, a quartering pattern. So now, it's nice, and she's chasing us. That's good. Now, you see the gears picking up a bit now. 
Yes, and she's hunting another snipe there. Excellent. Oh, yes, and another. She's really starting to use her nose now. Chasing the snipe base. Yes. That's great now. She's gone back to look for the snipe again. <laughs> Definitely piqued her interest. Oh, another snipe. And she's chasing us. out to the left like that and then go to Turner with the uh, recall with some uh, Turner to the right. Conversely. Good girl. Aha, she found some scent. <laughs> She's even starting to point. Scent of a bird there. So recalling this po at this point would be a waste of time. So all it would do is teach her that she doesn't have to recall. So I'm going to let her work it out, and then when she loses interest in that, I'm going to call her back in. Oh yes, there goes the snipe. And she's chasing it. Excellent. So her hunting instinct has definitely been triggered. Come on, come on, good girl. Back from the field there, and uh, after a short training session with Rua, and uh, I would say a very productive short training session. Um, I had already established very well the recall and I think for anyone training a dog I think the recall in my view is the foundation stone of all training when you can call your dog back to you well then you have control of your dog and you can do things with your dog if your dog won't recall well then you've got problems straight away and trying to introduce the quartering pattern that I spoke about Having the recall firmly established makes that relatively easy because all you're doing when your dog goes out is you're recalling and you're sending the dog in the direction opposite, thereby introducing the quartering pattern. And it's very simple, provided you have established the recall in the beginning. And the other thing I was very happy with was Rua's introduction to the snipe. She found a few snipe. It was her first time ever seeing game and she reacted exactly as I would expect. She put them up, became extremely interested in the scent and chased them. And that was absolutely excellent. I was delighted with that. So her hunting instinct has been triggered, so to speak. And um, I'll be doing more with that in the future, bringing her to more game and that. And um, at one point then she, she almost pointed, if you like, the instinct to set or point uh, became apparent. And I was delighted with that also. So 
everything is going well with Rua so far. No doubt there'll be issues and problems like training any dog and we will find out her strengths and, and weaknesses as we go along. So be sure to um, check in in the future and for future videos and you'll see Rua and her development. So once again, I'd like to thank you all for joining me here at Gundog and Fly and Godi on Kaid or Ele. Godeshev Sloan.